in the name of god who is most merciful and gracious i am zubair khan and you are watching my vlog might is always right is the topic for today's program nicaragua filed a case against germany asking international court of justice to take urgent measures for stopping the germany from sending arms and ammunition to israel which are being used to commit atrocities against palestinians of gaza Similarly it was asked to instruct Germany to revive the financial support of UNRWA which is mainly responsible to provide humanitarian assistance to Gaza refugees The awaited ruling of ICJ on this case was announced at 1300 hours GMT on 30th of April In a short ruling the International Court of Justice rejected the request of Nicaragua and avoided any ruling of any measures asking germany to stop shipment of arms and ammunition to israel as well as nothing was said about reviving the financial aid to unrwa this is united nation relief and work agency for palestinian refugees previously same court while giving interim ruling on the case filed by the south africa also failed to impose ceasefire in the gaza since many years it is being pointed out that the united nation has become almost a servant to the wills and wishes of big powers since icj is also a part and parcel of uno therefore such ruling was expected however negative rulings of icj on the name of justice will always remain a black stigma which this court usually provides to powerless and poor countries in its order of 26 january 2024 in the case concerning the application of the convention on the prevention and punishment of the crime of genocide in the gaza strip between south africa and israel it noted that the military operation con uh, conducted by israel following the attack of 7 october 2023 had resulted and i quote a large number of deaths and injuries as well as the massive destruction of homes the forcible displacement of the vast majority of the population and extensive damage to civilian infrastructure and of course in addition the court remains deeply concerned about the catastrophic living conditions of the palestinians in the gaza strip in particular in view of the prolonged and widespread deprivation of food and other basic necessities to which they have been subjected as acknowledged by the court in its order of March 28 2024 delivered in the same case the court further recalls that pursuant to common article 1 of the geneva conventions all states parties are under an obligation to respect and to ensure respect for the conventions in all circumstances it follows from that provision that every state party to these conventions whether or not it is a party to a specific conflict is under an obligation to ensure that the requirements of the instruments in question are complied with such an obligation does not derive only from the conventions themselves but from the general principle of humanitarian law to which the conventions merely give specific expression with regard to the genocide convention the court has had the opportunity to observe that the obligation to prevent the commission of the crime of genocide pursuant to article 1 requires states parties that are aware or they should normally have been aware of the serious risk that acts of genocide would have been committed to employ all means reasonably available to them to prevent genocide as far as possible further state parties are bound by the genocide convention not to commit any other acts enumerated in article 3 of this convention moreover the court considers it is particularly important to remind all states of their international obligations relating to the transfer of arms to parties to an armed conflict in order to avoid the risk that such arms might be used to violate the above mentioned conventions all these obligations are incumbent upon germany 
as a state party to the set conventions in its supply of arms to Israel. The court reaffirmed that the decision given in the present proceedings in no way prejudges the question of the jurisdiction of the court to deal with the merits of the case or any questions relating to the admissibility of the application or to the merits themselves. It leaves unaffected the right of the governments of Nicaragua and Germany to submit arguments in respect of those questions. I shall now read out the operative part of the order. For these reasons, the court, by 15 votes to one, finds that the circumstances as they now present themselves to the court are not such as to require the exercise of its power under Article 41 of the statute to indicate provisional measures. In favor, President Salam, Vice President Zebutindi, Judges, Tamka, Abraham, Yusuf, Shwe, Bandari, Iwasawa, Nol, Charlesworth, Brandt, Gomez Robledo, Cleveland, Oresco, Tladi. Against Judge Adhoff Al Khassawi. The order is available from today in TypeScript. It will be available shortly on the court website. The printed text will be available in due course. As the court has no further business before it today, I declare the sitting closed.